Invited guests, youth participants, ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Bula Vinaka and a very good morning to you all. At the outset, let me express my sincere appreciation for the honor of officiating at this important award ceremony for the Duke of Edinburgh International Award Program. I'm greatly privileged to be with you here today to celebrate with an amazing group of individuals that have inspired the rest of Fiji with your dedication and willingness to be part of this globally renowned program. Today we celebrate the outstanding achievements of our young people who will receive their Duke of Edinburgh awards today. It was conceived and had been for many years led by the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, who sadly passed away recently. On this occasion, we also remember the late Queen Elizabeth II, who also left us sadly in the past month. Ladies and gentlemen, the program has grown and developed during a time of huge social and industrial change. It has been many, seen many changes. It has initially offered only in the UK and only to boys aged between 15 and 18, as mentioned earlier on. Thankfully, the program quickly expanded to include girls in 1958. The Duke of Edinburgh International Award is now available to all 14 to 24 years old and has inspired 8 million young people across the globe. The award is internationally recognized as one of the leading youth achievements awards. And I sincerely thank all those whose efforts have ensured that the participants from these 62 have committed themselves to the program. A well-deserved achievement with this award ceremony. The Central Division will now surpass the 100 mark, having been awarded 122 awardees with silver and bronze. So double congratulations for passing the century mark to all concerned, including the coordinators, trainers, teachers, parents, and of course, our successful participants. I recognize that you support the Duke of Edinburgh International Award over and over your normal workload, ensuring that the participants receive proper training and fulfill the requirements of the program. Thank you. This is among the many tireless tasks performed by our teachers, and you deserve all the recognition and congratulations for going beyond the call of duty in providing training for this program. I would also like to acknowledge the assistance and support of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces and the Fiji Red Cross Society, who are always available to travel with the students during their journey. Thank you very much for your willingness and support. Ladies and gentlemen, and not forgetting National Fire Authority, ladies and gentlemen, the government through the Ministry of Youth and Sports continues to provide advocacy programs targeted at creating sustainable livelihood for all youths. My ministry, through our non-formal education program, such as the Duke of Edinburgh International Award, is mandated to carry out empowerment training to develop the young minds of our future leaders. The Ministry of Youth and Sports and Education, through the award program, 
wish to develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills, which will ultimately improve students' academic performance. To our dear graduates, I congratulate all of you for this great achievement. I urge you to explore more opportunities that open the door for you in the world of work. Ensure that you remain innovative as this is the only way you will overcome the challenges ahead of you. I call upon you, the young people, to avoid the culture of violence that is slowly eating the normal and the moral fabric of our society. This culture is dangerous because it will only destroy your life and your future. Unfortunately, the social media and its incorrect uses can fuel such violence as those drugs and alcohol. Remember, we in this government have been front and center when it comes to empowering all Fijian youths. And we will continue to do so in the years to come as we sustain our stated aims of a better and a progressive Fiji for all Fijians. I look forward to seeing you next year as you progress from the bronze to silver and then from silver to gold. And I would like to put on record my sincere appreciation and thanks to all the award leaders. And once again, my congratulations to all the award recipients. Go forth and achieve. Go forth and serve all our people. Go forth and be model citizens of Fiji. May God bless you all. Each step along that road prepare you better to achieve your goals and aspirations and to contribute to a better and a progressive Fiji for all of us. Vinaka and thank you. The next medal recipient for Naivindula goes to Chordami Sornomata. Being awarded with a bronze medal and a certificate. So now we are having students from all over the state, seven division, being awarded with medals this morning. A big round of applause. Burmasanga Youth Club in Rewa and being the only male recipient from Burmasanga. A big round of applause.